It's a little tough. How are you going to get her away from them? Keep your shirt on. I got an idea. Hold it here, Silver. Johnny. Are you hurt, Red? No, but I'm anxious to know what this is all about. Well, Joan and I were overtaken by Breen in his outfit, and Breen ordered his men to take me across the border to his ranch. For some reason, they let me go, and I went for help. Well, that was their scheme. They wanted you to bring Red. Oh, I see now. A trick. Breen wanted to get me to his hideout. Hey, Red, hadn't we better take after the numbers? No, they're across the border by this time. Let them go. Come on, let's climb on. the rest of the gang, Brain? Why, they're bringing in a visitor. The uh, redhead? No. Miss Marie Maxwell. Say, have you gone crazy? The government down here is not going to stand for that kind of stuff. No? Well, that's my lookout. All you've got to do is obey orders. 
As I said before, you're the boss. But don't be surprised if you find yourself standing up against a blank wall some morning, having a lead breakfast. <laughs> oh, here they are. Now, where's the girl? Now, that devil redhead popped up from nowhere and took her away from us. The redhead? Yeah. And the girl threw some lead into Berg's shoulder. Redhead seems to be quite a remarkable fella. If I were you, Breen, I'd lay off. The Mexican government doesn't get you. Looks like the redhead will. Say, it strikes me this redhead has got you pretty well buffaloed. Or are you just turning yellow? You can find that out mighty easy, Breen. See who that is, Kelsey. Yeah. You wait here for me. I go in to see Breen. Joe Cody. Oh. Come on, fellas. Let's play some seven up. Hello, Breen. All right, Joe. Where is Sam? Oh, he changed his mind and turned back. Said he didn't like the idea of being on the Mexican side of the border. Funny. The buggy that Sam's hired comes back. The driver say he rides a horse out to meet you. Funny we don't meet him and there is only one road back. What are you heading at? Sam's holds the mortgage on the Maxwell Ranch, don't he? Well, you know darn well he does without asking me. That's how Maxwell raised part of the money to go into the diamond deal with us. Him down here to close this deal, didn't he? He bring the money with him for the diamond. What are you heading at, Portis? I hint this, Breen. That Harper smuggled the diamonds across the border. He's killed. The diamonds disappear. Sams comes down here with the money for the diamonds and he disappears. Is it possible Mr. Breen has the money and the diamonds too? Well, you're crazy. Maxwell didn't get the diamonds and the redhead did when he found Harper's body. They're the ones we better get. Mm -hmm, but how we get him? He's mighty fast with the gun, the redhead. Raid the ranch of Del Rosa. Take them by surprise and get them both. And you're the only one that can do it, Joe. Bring him here to me and I'll pay you well for the job. I'll do it. I round up my men now to get the red. I got a great idea. We ride to the ranch of Del Rose and get Maxwell and the red. Oh, that's a fine idea, Joe. You want smart number. Then I'll help you get this redhead, won't we, Al? Sure, Bill. That devil redhead is sure one tough killer. We ride around Sycamore so nobody sees us, huh? Maybe we stop in Sycamore and drink tequila, eh? done for us, I, I can't very well refuse. What is it? You and Jones stay in the house for a couple of weeks. That is, don't go out. This fella, Breen, has bad medicine. I'll do anything you ask, Red. See you later, Jan. Oh, Red. Marie's a nice girl, don't you think so? Yes, she, uh... She is. She's a pippin. Hey, listen, Joan. Maybe you don't know it, but there's somebody else wants to put their brand on Marie. If you've got any crazy ideas in your head, get rid of them. I wonder if they are crazy. Sure they are. That is, if you're thinking what I think you're thinking. You'd fall in love with this redhead of mine anyway. Violent used to say that he always had a comfortable feeling when he saw that redhead of yours around. You can't forget Silent, can you? I'll never forget him, Red. You love him pretty much, don't you, John? I'll never stop loving him. If I knew where he was, I'd go to him. Silent wouldn't want that. Not until he's clear of the killing of your father. You think he will be clear, don't you? Oh, sure, sooner or later, but it's going to be a tough job. Is that what you came down here for, to help clear him? Maybe. Maybe I like excitement. You caused plenty of it in Sundog. Letting Silent escape and then resigning as sheriff. You know, Red... I should think you'd be afraid to stay here. You've made so many enemies. 
I am scared, and that's no fooling. I'm setting right on a stick of dynamite, and I know it. Still, I'm fool enough to stick around. <laughs> I guess it's my red hair. Oh, Red! Dad's gone to town on a buckboard. Oh, shucks. I thought it was something serious. But he hasn't been feeling well, and I'm worried. Well, if it leaves your mind any, I'll ride into Sycamore and see if he gets back safe. I wish you would. I'd feel easier. Hey, what's eating on you, Silver? Oh, I see. We got company, huh? Well, we're shorter company now. Come on. things at the ranch. Fine, Sheriff. See anything of Maxwell around? Yeah, he's up at the recorder's office. That's his rig outside. Guess I must be getting nearsighted. Sit down. You know, somebody was telling me that there's a Miss McKee visiting the Maxwell. I go tell Joe quick. You watch. Wonder if she's in relation to Scotty McKee, who used to live here. Mighty pretty girl. I wonder what Scotty McKee left the country so sudden like for. I don't know. He did leave unexpected like. Didn't say goodbye to anyone. Most of his time in the ranch down in Mexico. Sometimes we don't see him for a month or more. How good a friend was Scott McKee and Breen, do you know? Well, as to that, they knew each other. But as for being friendly, I... Say, what's the idea of all these questions? Oh, I don't know, Sheriff. Just wondering, that's all. Guess I better be moving along. I see Maxwell headed for the rig. So long. So long. Come on, son. Well, so long, Jim. I'll see you at the pitch on Sunday. Yeah. All right. Oh, hello, Red. What are you doing in town? Oh, Marie was kind of worried about you. So to ease her mind, I thought I'd ride in. You don't mind if I drive you home, do you? Silver will follow on the way. That's a good idea. We can talk on the way home. All right. All right, here you are. You do it, sir. Come on, son. Redhead and Maxwell, he go back to the ranch and ring. We go. I don't know what to do about that mortgage so held against my ranch. Even though Breen did trick me into that diamond deal, I feel as though something is due Solmes. Yeah, but don't forget, Solmes is dead. If you go looking up these folks, you'll loudly run plump into trouble. Not easy down here to be accused of a killing you didn't do. Hey, somebody's getting mighty careless with a smoke wagon.
They're after us. Here, take these lines. Get out of here, behold! Now we start shooting at Hitmax Melanesque about time. 